Hey, 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 Internet, it's Ferret Lethal Plays here, coming at you with another episode of our Ferret Business Mod Pack playthrough, Let's Play thing. And, uh, guys, this, this pack is uh, pretty interesting. Do I have a tail? Is that a tail? It is. I have a tail. What? I guess I'm a ferret. That makes sense. Oh, that's cute then. I like it. I like it a lot. What's up, guys? Well, anyway... Hopefully you're all doing alright. I'm just smacking my keyboard. What's happening? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, why is this all wrong? But anyway guys, so I've been here in the world. I found a place to live and I really like it. There's a boat. I used a boat. Um, so check it out. I, uh, let's see, can I go like this? I found a private island. <laughs> I found a private island. It's a pretty big island, but it's not too big. So I think what I'll end up doing is flattening it out, taking out this little oasis here in the center, and building a bridge to like this main area over here. And then over here, I've got like a little way down to a mine that is in the works. So I think this is going to be pretty cool. This should give us a decent amount of space to do the things that we need to do. And if we do run into space, we can build a bridge and make a tower over here or something like that. So that's pretty neat. I like it a lot. I have got uh, just a ton of ferni here because I went hunting. I got a bunch of grout, so I'm ready to do that. The problem is I don't have a lot of coal. <laughs> I'm kind of low on coal, so I need to do more mining. Coal seems relatively slightly challenging to find, I'll say. But uh, so I do have some quests that I, that I did that I did not turn in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we did the cobblestone. I ended up finding the iron, obviously, and one piece of coal. I'm going to take the five iron ingots. All right, so that opened up um, rolling the dice, and I had silver coins, so I did that. So we get a basic blind bag of blind bags. Um, Bandit, I know you haven't been with the ferret business long, thus starting in the uh, more questionable experimental labs, so you hadn't earned access to the corporate shop yet. Now that you earned it, let me show you one of the biggest biz the business's biggest sellers, the blind bag of blind bags. Oh my gosh. Uh, inside, this can either be one of hundreds of different items or another blind bag. No, not another one of these. That'd be recursive, recursive, recursive. No, instead you'll get one of the other blind bags we make. Oh, I get you. Uh, these contain so many more items that, well, at least I looked at our internal records when we had so many different blind bags, it'd make your head spin. Uh, last week I found a bar of gold in one. Gold! Here, I'll sell you a blind bag at a heavy discount. I think this one is the best blind bag, even though it's the cheapest, because it literally has the chance to have one of anything in it. Cool. All right. So, boop. Get the blind bag of awesomeness. Uh, sapling thing. Uh, just we needed some fruit and some stuff over here. I did that. I'm going to get another blind bag. Okay, okay, yes. The tablet scanners show a whole abundance of life around you. This is good. It means you won't starve because you can eat some of it. But it's also bad because some of it can eat you. The entire corporate wing I work in is very interested in what living things you can find. Get me some biological stuff and I'll pass around my findings. All right. And then uh, this one. We just needed some rotten flesh. That was very easy to get. I'll get another blind bag. All right. Strange. Very strange. Peculiar even. I detected once living creatures walking around. Our occult occult wing would like to investigate these things a bit closer. Seems that might mean there are some less than logically scientific flesh or things here. Grab a few of the flesh of the things that are walking around. Get them and get them. Cool. So here we go. We've got some blind bags, which we will open up now. We'll get number one, which is 10 conduit binder. Not terrible. Two turret bases. That's actually pretty decent. And this one, 32 willow planks. Uh, not, not something that I'm extremely excited about, but that's cool. So now we've got all sorts of things opening up. Um, I do know I can get some easy copper. I'm tempted to go do that. Oh, we have supply and demand here too. So, temporary automation. 
for one silver coin, we can work on this thing. So right now we're working on a way to get you a machine that will let you automatically fulfill contracts without having to open up your quest tablet. The machinists here are working on a design we think you'll like, but for now, we can utilize a temporary solution. The Ender IO sag mill is pretty close to what we want. Put any supply crate into your sag mill. As it expands, expends energy, it will instead teleport the crate to us and we will teleport the appropriate payment. What? <laughs> what? A traitor chit. What is this? Okay. <laughs> what have they done to the sag mill? Uh, whether it's materials or products, the ferret business is always in need of them massive quantities. We have stores and distributors all over the place, and we need a steady supply to meet the demand. So we have a standard listing of contracts. Contracts cover all manner of things we accept. The simplest contracts are supply contracts, uh, which cover basic materials like metals and seeds, uh, the There are also production contracts, which cover anything you can mass produce from materials like furniture, toys, or even RF energy. But to fill any contract, you need to start by making shipping crates. Surround a silver coin in any wooden planks to get 64 serviceable shipping crates. Once you create something, you cannot uncreate it. I will give you 64 crates for one plank of wood. Normally, you can create more planks simply by combining eight planks of wood. And I say, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I get it. Claim it. We get a dire crafting table and unfilled shipping crates. Okay, so we should be... Oh, we have something here. Building your home. What is this? Tails. You know, sometimes it's not just your home you can customize. What about yourself? Well, with the quest tablet, you can customize yourself with a spiffy fluffy tail. Or some cute wings or ears. Just hit escape for, for the main menu and hit escape... Oh, and at the bottom is a button to customize your look. Choose from a wide variety of tails, wings, and ears. Uh, color them to your liking. Even save them as an outfit. Oh, baby. Uh, we're going to go blind bag. Always blind bag. That's pretty cool. Bibliocraft, carpenter's blocks, deco craft. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Let's take a nap. All right. So... This is really strange, and like, what's this? Used primarily to package bulk order contracts. Can also be used to package that stuff, Avaricia. Okay. Uh, also, I lit up most of the island here, <laughs> just because I was getting wrecked. I was getting wrecked by mobs, um, including one named Johnny Five, which I thought was very peculiar. So let's check this out. One thing I really would like to do is get uh, Thomcraft going. I want to be a good thaumaturge, guys. I really do. Um, I want to be able to use thauma thaumaturgy, Thomcraft, to do the things. You know what I mean? Instead of just uh, instead of just doing Thomcraft to have Thomcraft uh, as a as a check mark. So unfortunately, though. Oy. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of materials. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. Uh, I don't have a ton of materials. Let's go like this. And let's peep out this. Because, like, I'd really, really, really uh, like to get... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'd really, really, really like to get... A tinkers thing going on so that I can you know get some decent tools and you know start working towards world supremacy or whatever it is that I do uh, as a ferret oh I got some bags too I gotta open up I gotta open gotta open the bags I don't know what the sag mill is really gonna be used for so let's check this out basic blind bag of blindness okay a Jabba um, storage upgrades that's not bad and chisel master cheap blind bag. Oh, another blind bag. Okay. Right? Hold shift to peek at the back. It's not doing anything. Oh. There we go. What do we get? Okay. Some light blue stained glass. That will come in handy when it is time to do some uh, some stuff some stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these iron ingots and make me an iron pickaxle. I shouldn't say that because the pickaxle is like an actual tool that people can get. 
I would like to, I think, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, see, the thing here, <laughs> the thing here is I really, 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 really need coal. Like, that's the thing that I need kind of the most of at the moment. ATM. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot. Of course. Of course I would fall and miss the one thing. So this, this obelisk thing might cause a problem in the future. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I am like in this little area. There's, there's a little bit of a mountain thing over there going on. But uh, it's not terribly close. You know what I mean? Obviously, I have not done a very good job at making this stairway like accessible or anything like that. So let's grab this iron. Vein miners installed. I don't know if I mentioned that in the first episode. So I can grab some tin. Oh, there's some more. Oh, there's certus quartz. Okay. Since we have um, thomic energistics, I'm really tempted to rush um, an ME system as I as I usually do. I'm curious. Do we have? Um, Okay, so we do have big reactors, okay. I don't necessarily want to go that route, but I know it's going to be the best way for us to get a decent amount of energy. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity in this series to kind of, um, you know, use some different mods and stuff to, to do things that I don't normally rely them on or something like that. Like, we're going to have an ME system because I hate storage. I'm gonna have a big reactor probably as the thing that fuels my uh, my system, my ME system, just to make sure that you know I've got steady energy. But beyond that, I'm not really sure uh, how I want to do it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? So we'll just play it by ear. But I really want to try and use the mods in this pack to. Um, this hammer is going to break. But no, I want to use the mods in the pack to, like, you know, for, like, what they're there for, basically. This is going to break. All right, there it goes. All right, all right. But yeah, you know, so instead of just, like, worrying about doing a thing a certain way or... Um, doing it because it's the way I've always done it. I'm really going to try, and I've said this before and I've failed at it, but <laughs> but uh, I'm really going to try at using the different mods the way that they're supposed to be used. Especially because this is, like I said, probably my last 1-7 mod pack, unless, you know, 1-9 modding like takes forever. Uh, you know, then I'm not going to worry about it too much. You know, maybe I'll do another pack or, or extend this one out. I'd really like some coal. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? I was hoping to find some cool stuff before now, so I'm not just mining on... Hey, look, coal. Oh, lots of it. Yes, please. Very good, very good. That's a pretty... It's 20. I, I definitely need more than 20. So let's see, I think I made, do I have eight? I think I have at least eight stacks of, um, of grout. I think I have eight stacks of grout. So how much coal is that? You need eight per stack. So I need like a stack of coal just to use for the, the cooking of the, of the uh, of the thing. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Of the uh, the grout, the cooking of the grout. So that's that's quite a bit for where we are at the moment. I mean, luckily though, iron, tin. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with these quantities at the moment. I do wish. I do wish that, <laughs> that I had coal. Is that one drop or two? Oh, that's multiple. There we go. I wish I had some coal. Let's let's go a little bit further on camera. 
and tell you guys that uh, again thank you for for hanging with me and and sticking it out with me uh, it's been interesting I've got some things planned for the channel that I hinted at at the end of obscurity if you were here for that what are we down to 16 um, but even that that plan has changed I've got secrets in the works you know so oh, hello mineshaft this could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing I'm gonna go with really bad thing because I don't have armor very lightly armored but let me see there's some more iron oh <laughs> I'm scared scared of everything is that diamonds <gasps> I have to get the diamonds Oh my gosh, we got diamonds, a shiny? Okay, everything's exploding in my face. Fair, oh man, this is good find. Get the coal. Oh my, go oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That was awesome. Okay, good find, chef. Holy mo, I did not expect to find diamonds like that. Why 13? How many was that? Eight diamonds. Holy moly, yes. Here, let's go like that. And then... This seems pretty lit over here, too. Ah! Hi. Hi, hello. How are you? I could probably use some of your string. Oh, you're all alone over here? What a shame, man. What a shame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, that actually did kind of scare me a wee bit. What is that? Hold on, what is this? Dilithium for matter overdrive. See, I don't even know what that is. What does that even mean? I don't know, man. Like, I want to get it, but I don't want to fill up my inventory with it. Do I need it? Oh, that's obsidian level. Oh, then I definitely want it. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Oh no, do you guys hear the skeleton? He's over there. Can we get him? Get him! Oh, shoot. Oh, got you. Got you. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Get out of here. This is crazy. Oh, coal. Yes. The whole reason why we came down here. I may or may not be I may or may not be lost right now. Iron. Yes. <gasps> gold. I don't have any gold yet either. I don't think. All right, a few pieces. It's fine. What's going on over here, guys? I did mean to grab the redstone from the other area, so that's good. I'll grab it from this area. Oh man, oh aluminum, good! Oh, we need the aluminum. Will that go? Oh, it does, good. Oh, sweet. Redstone. Give me the aluminum. There we go. Uh, we can go grab this iron here. Some more redstone. Like if the, I think if we got up to about a stack of redstone, that'd probably be pretty good for a start. Doesn't look like it's going to be quite that good, but... Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this down, because I don't need it filling up my inventory. And then... Let's see. Let me light this up a little bit. Let me throw another one down there. Ooh, aluminum. I definitely want the aluminum. I definitely also need to figure out how I get out of here. Oh! What are you? I should. Oh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Okay. I'm gone. Oh man. That was. Get out. Where do I go? Oh. Freaking. Oh. Got you. Okay. Kill, kill. Got you. 
Okay, I don't need to eat yet. I oh, frick. Cobble. Wait. Okay. Do you hear that? There's like a robot over there. No. Oh, this was a mistake, guys. This was a mistake. I don't know how to get out of here either. Um, okay, hold on. You hear that? It wasn't over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Game's freezing. Game? Okay. Oh, yellow right. <laughs> huh? Okay. I don't think it was over there either. I gotta remember to look up, too. How did I get here? Okay. Home Island is over there. I need to... I need to follow... Oh, man. I'm so scared right now. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is just dig... Do I want to just go straight up? That could be really dangerous. It's probably nighttime. Tell you what, guys. I am going to dig my way up. Maybe. Wait, I've been here. Definitely been here. In before. Okay, we're fine. Okay. So, yeah, they're mad. I don't need any surprises coming at me. So, where is that? Okay, it's that way. Let's go like this. And so, I'm pretty much just gonna dig, dig up and out. Um,. Until I get the heck out of here. So um, I'm going to cut and I'll meet you guys when I get back to the base. And I'm back. Surprisingly, uh, I was pretty close to where I had kind of left off. Or where my, my actual like thing was, you know? So that was pretty exciting. Still don't have mouse tweaks. That's a problem. But now I've got all this stuff. I feel pretty good now. Like, I've got materials. <laughs> I've got materials to use and, and to, to craft with and to mine with and to mine craft. It's weird. So I think what I actually want to do... How does one... Uh, like, shoot. If I wanted to make charcoal... Can I only make it out of um, this stuff? Logs? All right. Logs. Can I. Can I smelt. I can use it as fuel, but. No. Okay. So I would need eight logs. Hmm, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Because I, I don't have enough. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On all these are filled with grout. Hmm. Hmm, I say. So I don't have any hidden coal anywhere. No, definitely no hidden coal. Um. Shoot, I've got six oak. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to end up chopping down this entire area anyway. So what were to happen if I just kind of 
came over here and said, "You there, please disappear." Ow! I hit the hit my headset. There we go. So sixteen. Now, what did I want to do that for? I don't remember now. I don't remember meow. Oh yes, I need to smelt. So I want eight pieces of charcoal. So I can go like that. And then, eh, let me keep the saplings. So that should do, and I have, it would go like that. Right? And then this is charcoal. So this would be eight, 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 two, three, one, two, three, four. there okay so let me go ahead and get this stuff going because the sooner we can get this going the better know what I mean man we'll even go like that and then we'll have one piece of coal left over oh look at the glory we will have tinkers before you know it I almost freaked out that that was not going to smelt the right thing. Ooh, it's getting late. Okay, so... This may end up being a bit of a shorter episode, just because it's getting late in my time frame. And I got stuff to do, guys. So there we go. This is all smelting up. I've still got one leftover furnace that I can use to cook up some food -doo 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 if I had eight pieces of it, which I don't. So, some things that have to happen between now and the next episode is, A, I want to get a Tinker's Thing set up, because I'll have the materials to do so. I don't have any lava anywhere. Hmm. I'll have to go find lava. And do stuff. So if I look here, General Store, it wants me to... Uh, Thaumaturge Branch... Rules of the shop. Yeah, so... Researchology, oh my gosh. There's all sorts of stuff here, man. Building your home. Exploring your world. Natura, warp, book, morph, nether ores. What? Oh man, morph mod. Oh my goodness, they need us to get clouds. Okay. Uh, supply, I don't know what this H is. What is the H? Supply and demand. What is this? Bronze. Trader. Chit. Supply crate. With 30,000 FMC. Ferret. Material cost. I have no idea what that means. So you can put anything in there. Okay. Gotcha. Armament shop. Ooh. Interesting. Bottle of enchanting. Miniature green heart. Oh my gosh. All right. Initial research, though. This is really going to be my priority. So I need to go get some copper. I've got plenty of tin. I need to smelt a little bit of it. And then I want to start getting into Thomcraft. We're, we're, we're a bit away from that, obviously. Uh, just simply because I don't have... Oh my gosh, all this stuff. Uh, just because I don't have all this stuff yet. Um, I, don't, I need I need like an economy. I need an, an infrastructure set up before I can do Thomcraft. I need like a crafting area and a home to live in and all this stuff. But hopefully this island will be pretty big. It'll be big enough for us. I'll get a silk touch and grab some of this podzil. But I feel like it's pretty big. And if anything, like we can have stuff out in the ocean uh, if we need it. Um... Yeah, so could be pretty cool. And then got a little bit of a like a hill island. It's not even an island. It's like mainland over there. Um, so I think that is pretty cool as well. So that, I think, is going to be the end of today's episode. It kind of has to be because, again, guys, I've got stuff to do. But I want to thank you so much for watching. I think I got my audio thing kind of settled. I wasn't happy with the quality in the first episode, so I changed some settings after I did a live stream and said, I think I figured it out.
So I think I figured it out. Hopefully this episode sounds a little bit better. Um, I will uh, I will be playing on this pack as I can, uh, just so that content can continue. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. It's still too early to tell what kind of the long-term fate <laughs> of this pack is going to be, but uh, we shall soon see. Uh, you know, I'm hoping to at least get to like level level uh, like I don't know ten or so episodes before I start making any sort of uh, uh, conclusions <laughs> as to what what this pack is all about and how I feel about it. So I'm gonna give it a shot. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hopefully I hopefully I hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Ferrets.